For this step, we're gonna be using acrylic paint to create a hue, shade, and tint of those different values. Practice blending values and layering them to create a smooth transition from light to dark. So the first step is filling in these boxes at the top. So we're gonna be mixing our colors to match the value scales that are going across the page. I'm starting with the hue, which is just the plain color without mixing black or white into it. Uh, so choose any color that you wanna work with. And then the next step is going to be mixing a little bit of white with your color or with your hue. And then every box, as I go towards the right side, I'm just continuing to mix a little bit more white with that color to slowly lighten my value a little bit more as I go. For that lightest value, make sure that it's pretty close to white, so having a good amount of white mixed in with your color. Now I'm moving on to my shades. For the shade, I'm doing the same thing, but just slowly adding more and more black in each value. When you're mixing your black, you do not need much black paint because the black does go a, lot, a long way, a lot further than the white paint does. So just a little dot of black will uh, go a long way as you mix that with your hue. So slowly add a little bit more to that mixture until you end up with that darkest value that is similar or close to being black. For this next step, we're gonna be practicing techniques that are gonna be applied to your final portrait project, which is going to be layering and blending our colors together. So I'm starting by filling in these three boxes with a hue, tint, and shade. So for the hue, I'm just using the regular color, and then the tint, again, is mixing white into it, and then mixing a little bit of black as well. And then what I'm gonna do is blend these values together to create a smooth gradient going from my dark value into my light value. So to create a blend, what you're gonna do is add a little bit of the regular green hue onto the uh, edge of where that box is, add a little bit of the lighter valued tint right where uh, that edge of the light tint is and meets the hue, and then brush over top of them until they're blended together in the middle. As you're doing this, make sure you are cleaning off your paintbrush a lot so that you can get rid of that excess paint and that will help to really fade these values together a little bit easier. I'm also using vertical brush strokes and then horizontal brush strokes and you will probably need to bring in more of the hue and layer in a little bit more of the light value too in order to create a smooth blend. And then same thing where this uh, hue meets the dark green, I'm adding a little bit more of the hue so that I have plenty of paint there to mix with my darker value. I'm adding a little bit more of that darker value so that these colors can really blend together. I'm washing off my brush and then I'm using vertical brush strokes to start to blend and fade these values. Make sure that you are stretching it far enough where it's a smooth fade and doesn't just jump from dark to light. So blend those values over top of where the hue is. I added a little bit more of the hue mixing once again with that dark value. So it does take some time and some layers. This is something we will do on our final portrait as another option. Instead of using uh, charcoal to bring back details, you could blend and fade those values together since you will probably be working with a posturized reference picture. It's going to be broken up into values similar to this. So by blending and fading those values together, you're able to create a smooth, uh, consistency of the paint on the face. So it depends on the technique that you like the best, but you may or may not be using this type of blending on your final portrait, but a great skill to practice. For this next step, choose any color that you wanna work with and create a mixture of your hue, tint, and your shade. Fill in those boxes uh, next to the leaf with your hue, tint, and shade that you plan to fill in the leaf with. This is going to be an application of the gradient that we just worked on. It's gonna be same thing, blending your values together, but now we're actually applying them to an object, which is the leaf here. So for that shade, I'm making it a darker value, mixing just a little bit of black with my green in order to create the shade. You don't have to make a green leaf, so choose any color that you wanna work with for this. Now I'm filling in my hue with this green value, which is not mixed with black or white. So I'm filling in both of those sections that are labeled hue. And then I'm moving on to my tint and filling that in with the light green value that I mix some white in with. And then for the shade, this is where I'm mixing a little bit of that black with my green and filling that in for my shade. And then I'm gonna uh, add that right down the middle of the leaf as well. 
So from here, I'm going to be mixing these values together. So I'm doing the same thing where I'm going in between my values, adding a little bit of the hue, a little bit of the shade, and blending those out to create the smooth gradient from dark to light. So that way I don't have a harsh edge where the light and the dark value meet. So I'm just continuing to blend those together and then I'll go to the other side and do the same. And then the last step is adding just a little bit of texture on top once you have these blended out. So you could go in with either a dark value or a light value. I go in with both, so I'm using my light value, adding a little bit of texture on top. So these are just a few lines kind of spaced out. And then I'm bringing in a dark texture as well. So this is something you could do on your final portrait is just bringing in a little bit of texture and detail to kind of outline areas with as you're going. Uh, so go through blend your values and try to add a little bit of texture to this leaf so that when you're finished, you have a nice fade from the dark value into the light values.